In the following video, I'll answer question 4 of the January 2008 Core 4 OCR A-level paper. Again, this is my second video in regard to implicit differentiation. Okay, let's take a look. The equation of the normal to the curve at the point 1, 1, uh, find the equation of normal to the curve uh, at the point 1, 1. So this is almost exactly like um, the first video question I did. I've got an implicit curve here because it's not y the subject of the formula. I want the equation of the normal at the point 1, 1 in this very specific form. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to differentiate the curve with respect to x. So everything I see, I'm going to differentiate with respect to x. Okay, so I'm going to do d by dx of x cubed. And I know what that is. That's 3x squared. Okay, then I'm going to differentiate probably the hardest term, 4x squared y. Now, at this point, I'm going to think of 4x squared as a, a y as a product rule. So I'm going to think of 4x squared as u and the y as v. Okay, and I'm going to use uv dash plus vu dash to differentiate. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, if differentiating this is, well, u times the differential of y, okay, plus the differential of u, which is 4x squared, okay, times y. Okay, now... The differential of y with respect to x is simply dy by dx. So this here is 4x squared dy by dx. And the differential of 4x squared is 8x times y. So I'm going to get plus 8xy. Okay, and lastly, I'm going to differentiate with respect to x uh, y cubed. And how I do that is I differentiate implicitly. I differentiate this with respect to y because I can do that, and I post multiply by dy by dx to correct. The differential with respect to y of y cubed is 3y squared, so I get 3y squared dy by dx. Okay, and lastly, for completeness, the differential of a number 6 is going to be 0. Okay, so combining all these things into an equation, having differentiated this side and made it equal to the differential of this side, I'm going to get the equation 3x squared, okay, plus 4x squared dy by dx, plus 8xy, plus 3y squared dy by dx is equal to 0. Okay, and I'm going to factorise, I'm going to consider that term and that term and factorise dy by dx and change the colour of my pen at the same time. So dy by dx, I'm going to have 4x squared plus 3y squared plus 3x squared plus 8xy, so plus 3x squared plus 8xy is equal to 0. Okay, and I've done some good working to that point. Okay, right, now I'm going to take this whole thing, I'm going to pop it on another page. Um, this is the having differentiated implicitly uh, both sides of the equation. I want to find the equation of the normal at the point 1, 1. So I'm going to substitute at this point x equal 1 and y equal 1 in here and work out what dy by dx is. So dy by dx. Well, if x is 1, this is 4, and this would be 3. So it would be dy by dx times 7. This would be 3, and this would be 8. So I'd have plus 11 is equal to 0. So solving for dy by dx, dy by dx must be, um, you subtract 11 and divide by 7, so it's minus 11 over 7. Okay, And obviously that's the gradient of the tangent at 1, 1. But you want the gradient of the normal at point 1, 1. So the gradient of the normal is the negative reciprocal. That is the negative uh, 1 over minus 11 over 7. 
which turns out to be 7 over 11. Okay, so that's the gradient of the normal, and now you use the equation of a straight line, y minus y1 is mx minus x1, uh, with the coordinates that you know, 1, 1. So y minus 1 is 7 over 11, x minus 1. I'm going to multiply everything by 11 to remove this here. So on both sides, I would multiply by 11. I'd get 11y minus 11 uh, equals, and then multiply the 7 in here, 7x minus 7. Okay, and give it in the form they want. Uh, make one of the sides equal to 0 by subtracting 11y to both sides and adding 11 to both sides. So I'd get 7x uh, minus 11y and a minus 7 plus 11 ends up to be positive 4. So my equation of the, of the normal at the point 1, 1 is uh, 7x minus 11y plus 4 equals 0. I hope you found the following useful in your revision for implicit differentiation. Thank you for listening.